Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here. Welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we have a three-star series episode featuring Jack80 from X Loyal performing a Lava Lunian plus a mini AQ walk. So uh, before we go ahead with that, we will announce the top three winners of last question time. And first place was Cole Carson, second place was Fear Knox, third place was Joe Alley. Uh, wait for the next question time question at the end of this episode to get your points on the leaderboard in my About Me section. So uh, let's go back to the base. So this is a Town Hall 10 uh, quotation marks because of the uh, Town Hall 8 defenses on the outside, the whiz towers and the cannons, and even the air defenses aren't that high. But the rest are like the expos and the maxed out uh, Inferno Tower. So it's a bit of an odd base, but these are the Town Hall 10s that you want to take advantage of to three star in Clan Wars because of those low defenses. Uh, except for the the major ones in the middle so you really want to three star this base just to say hey you've rushed your base let's knock you out and get your three star and welcome to town hall 10 and um, number two it's a good opportunity to uh, three star town hall 10 anyway for advantage of your clan and clan wars so what jack 80 does is he does a bit of a aq walk um, it's a mini one because he's got a few healers there uh, and the aq and his plan is to knock out this air defense here and also lure the clan castle and help knock out that pesky dragon that comes out of it. Um, also, he uses the other heroes plus a few giants, um, which is the Barbarian King, on the other side to knock out this air defense here. Uh, so it makes it easier for his uh, flying attack uh, component of the raid. So it's really clever how he does this. It's all, uh, it's all in a lot of working parts. But first of all, he uh, funnels with the minions. So as you as you know, you need a funnel uh, to get those heroes where you want them to go. So what he does with the minions at the start, he funnels uh, these structures here. So the AQ goes directly to that um, air defense and uh, that mortar there. And the other side, he funnels the uh, army camps and the elixir collector and those uh, builder huts up north. Uh, so the Barbarian King and Giants go straight for that air defense there. So he's really good. He's knocked out two air defenses before his Lava Hounds and his Loons go in. And that's really awesome um, to for, set up for his uh, flying attack component. So as you would see at the end, you'll see the Archer Queen with uh, pretty much full health because he's deployed it well with those, uh, with those healers behind her knocking out uh, some of the structures and the important uh, air defense at the start and the uh, clan castle. So let's go ahead and see what Jack80 does with the Lava Lunian plus the mini AQ walk in this raid. See you in the replay. And Jack80 starts off with the minion funnel. As you can see, he's got the uh, army camps there. He's, uh, he's going to funnel those so he can knock uh, those, the Arch Queen straight to that mortar which is the closest structure from where she is and she also knocks out that air defense which is close to the edge so um, now he's sending in the uh, giants up the top there with the Barbarian King and uh, they're gonna go knock out that Arch Queen as well and that uh, air defense so the important thing about with the flying troops you need to knock out your clan castle your uh, air, at least one air defense and um, the arch queen to make it a su successful raid so that's what he's doing now he's got a poison spell for those flimsy troops and now his arch queen will be able to deal with that dragon all, all by herself um, with those healers backing her up to uh, heal her in need so there we go the uh, the barbaric king on the outside did die but he did his job he knocked out the air defense and the arch queen so now he's sending in the lava hounds and loon component of the raid uh, to go into the base. So what he's doing is uh, uh, finger dropping the loons uh, in a line with the defenses. He, he doesn't uh, put it all in one blob which is very smart uh, because if they go in a blob then that means they have to uh, travel to each defense um, and that's not good especially if there's whiz towers around uh, for splash damage. So there we go he's got those two lava hounds going to the far air defense now uh, the uh, he's got some haste spells as well which is awesome um, because they only take one uh, dark uh, one spell slot in your composition so now he's got a few loons on the uh, left behind for the back end and the love hound is now tanking 
that air defense for the loons. So the air sweeper was a little bit troublesome, but now he's got some loons coming up from behind now to knock it out. So there we go, guys. That's a really awesome raid. They're the kind of bases you want to three star those premature slash maxed out uh, inferno towers and uh, expo kind of bases. And you could say, hey, welcome to Town Hall 10. This is what happens when you rush your base. So I hope you guys enjoyed that raid. It's just a clean up now. It's got obviously going to be a three star. So uh, please smack that like button um, for this raid. And the next question time question is, which two in-game troops have their own heroes? So put your answer in the comments below with QT colon and your answer. And the first three will get points in the next episode. So let me know uh, in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later, guys.